Hi, my name is Vicki Bodwell, and today I have my son Henry Bodwell helping me show you how to make a kite. This is one of my all-time favorite childhood memories, as I remember making a kite with my dad when I was about your age from newspapers and sticks. However, today we're going to use a bit more sophisticated material. We're going to use a heavy craft paper, some wooden dowels, an exacto knife, some string, scissors, and either glue or masking tape. And we've selected some of Henry's favorite art supplies to decorate. And the first two steps can be a little bit complicated, so if you're working with younger children, you may want to do those in advance and let them decorate the kite at the end. However, if you want to make your life really easy, you can go to our website and buy our kite making kit, and you can put it together and the kids can just go ahead and paint it. So you ready to go to step one? Mm -hmm. Great. So now in step one, we're going to go ahead and start making the frame of your kite. And since Henry's a little bit younger, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to make this piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your two sticks, one is going to be a little bit shorter, and you're going to make a cross. And you take your thumb to secure it, and you're going to want to make sure that the cross on either side is even. And you'll take a piece of masking tape or glue, and you're going to put a dab on the lower piece of the cross. You'll take your string and just wrap it tightly to secure the crossbow. And at some point, you can either check to make sure that it's about even, because at this point, balance is probably going to be your best success story for flying your kite. And once you're finished wrapping, you can leave a little bit of a tail to cut off, but you'll take your glue and just glop it on. All right, so while that's drying, it'll take about 30 minutes. We'll put that aside and we'll be ready to move on to step two. So in step two, you're going to be working with an X-Acto knife because you're going to make a groove into your wooden dowel. And you're going to go along all four corners. So at this point, you're going to start by making a loop at the top of the kite frame and going around to each of the four sides. And at the end, you're going to take your string and make another loop by making a knot and pulling the string through and going back to your notch. And then just wrap around the end, go to your next end, go in the notch and around, and then you're going to end up back at the top. And then you're going to have a beautiful diamond shape. And you can make any adjustment you need to in your kite. So now in step three, it's a good time to bring the kids back in. And we're going to take our craft paper, Henry, and we're going to carefully draw a line about a half to one inch around the frame. And then Henry is going to cut along that edge. So once your kite is completely cut out, you're going to go back to your frame and you're going to place it in the middle. And we're going to wrap the paper around your kite frame. So you have a diamond shape. Take your kite and you put it back in the center. And you can either take your glue or masking tape. And I'll show you how to do both. And Henry, we're going to wrap it like a present. I'm going to move this craft paper so we can see what we're doing. And I, if you're using glue, you just take it and you go on one side of the twine and you just fold it over like an envelope. Okay? I'm going to fold it. And if you're using masking tape, you're just going to take your masking tape, the length of one of the sides, like that. And you can cut over whatever excess paper you have. So in this case, we'll just cut off the end. And make sure to make a nice point on your diamond kite. All right. So now you have the shape of your kite, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the final step in making the kite. And you're going to take a string, and you're going to basically tie it from one end to the other. And you make a loop. And this will be 
when you tie your string to fly your kite, that's what it'll go through. And then you tie one end to the top, and just tie a little knot. And tie this securely because the story goes with my dad that I didn't tie it securely enough and the kite flew off. It's really sad. So tie a really secure knot. And Henry, you want to put it through the loop? All right. Ta-da! Okay, now for the final decorating. So you can take any of your art supplies and Henry can do whatever he wants. Paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons. And you may want to even do a little um, tail at the end. We've used some of our fabric remnants and you can tie little bows on it for that extra special flair. And you have an old fashioned paper kite that you can go fly with your kids. So have a great time flying your kite, and we'll see you next time.